Valuation. That's the name for a concept of assigning a value to your household goods so that in case of damage or loss, you can receive that valued amount back covering the expense of the loss. Now there are different levels, but usually when we say valuation, we're talking about total replacement coverage. It's also called full valuation or extra care protection. And it's a concept that gets confusing to people who aren't experienced in how moving companies work. So we get this type of question in a few variations. We've heard, why is valuation not included in the cost of my move? Or why do I have to pay extra for it? Well, the short answer is because it's not something every customer wants. So it's easier to allow you to include it than it is to subtract it out from every move where you didn't want to pay for it. Each company can vary its policy though. Some might choose to include it up front and others will show it as a line item to add in if you want. But again, why is it extra? Well, the answer to that comes down to a give and take between customers and moving companies. There's a whole history here. So let's break it down. Number one, what is total valuation? If you're shipping items, whether with a moving company, a delivery company, or anyone else with a truck, you'll often be asked how much the items shipped are worth. After all, no one will know the actual value of your items except you. Freight companies are not expert appraisers. So once you know the value, the delivery company can agree to compensate you at that value in the case of damage or loss. Now costs, rules, and details, they change with every company, but it will fundamentally work that way in most places. Moving companies work the same way as delivery companies in this regard. When you ship multiple items, it's common to ask the value of the total shipment, and then work to repair, replace, or compensate at the value of the individual pieces that are broken or missing. But are there other options? Short answer, yes. Moving companies have an option for you to release valuation, which is sometimes called basic liability protection. This is the basic amount that a moving company will cover without a declared valuation. Now this occurs because you are releasing the value or not providing your shipment's value to the company shipping it. So in this case, there still is a default plan to compensate you. It's a standard rate of 60 cents per pound for any damaged or lost item. Now this option allows you to receive some compensation, but most customers find it isn't enough to cover the actual value of belongings. You could also purchase insurance policies from insurance companies that offer this kind of service, and that would be separate from the moving company. But number three, why is it extra? Okay, truthfully, it's extra because it's a way for moving companies to hedge against losses and damages that can happen along the way. Even the absolute best moving company will experience some damage and some loss. That's because the process is not only in the control of the moving company. Other drivers on the road, the weather, road hazards, those are things that can cause loss or damage, among many other things. Now, some things are in the control of the moving company, like the packing process, tiering, the way they load, but often hazards outside the control of the moving company will create damage or loss. That means there's increased costs. But there's also a, another less ideal situation, and that's deceit. Some customers have used moving companies as a payout for previously damaged items. Well, over the years, as this started to happen more frequently, moving companies' costs have continued to rise. So just as prices rise in stores when theft in increases over the years, the same increase has occurred in the moving industry. However, instead of simply just raising prices for all customers, this option of adding in valuation as a line item allows moving customers to choose if it's right for them, and then keep the price lower if it's not the right fit. And we felt that was the best way to share costs as an industry, and hopefully you'll agree. So. Will it be right to you to purchase extra care protection or total valuation? We've got a blog on our learning center that covers that exact topic. Hope you'll check it out.